Tottenham Hotspurs, Craig Dolby. And the season is underway. Immediately, Craig Dolby looking to the inside of FC Porto. Defending Liverpool's on the outside. Dolby's car wiggles wickedly, but he's up to second. Porto third, Liverpool fourth. It is Vissel that leads, and Craig Dolby goes for the lead. Down the inside into Maggots. He's never raced at Silverstone in the try, but you would not know it from that opening couple of corners. Let's talk about the past. How did all of this come about? Well, my dad brought me a go-kart when I was three years old that did 60 miles an hour. Um, I had at my, three? At three years old, I was doing 60 miles an hour, yes. So, Surely uh, that's illegal. I <laughs> uh, no, it's great fun. Um, I love him for that because, uh, you know, he got me started then and had my first unofficial race at four years old and uh, won my first unofficial race at five and then just worked on it from there. And uh, here I am now winning the championship in Super League. Do you think it's really crucial and pivotal that role that your dad then has played in your career? Yeah, well, I mean, he's always been there for me at every race, and my mum as well, and my two sisters, you know, they've, they've been there, they're near enough come to every race, and, uh, you know, especially mum and dad, they're always there for me. If I'm on or down, they'll always pick me back up and uh, get me going again, so, yeah, it's a big thank you to them. Known as the overtaker, he's the type of driver that has a simple strategy to pass as many cars in front of him as possible, one way or another. Well, I mean, you've, you've seen this year a few times I've been fired up and, uh, you know, it's getting better. A few years ago I was uh, probably a little bit kind of young and uh, I've matured a lot over the last couple of years and I can kind of manage it a lot better now and it, it helps because I can calm down a lot more. And we're getting better, still not there, right? Uh, do you know, I think I take it out on the team quite a bit. We made some adjustments to the car um, that Craig wasn't happy with. and. Um, you know, he's an emotional character, um, and we, have, you know, we try and calm him down. But in that particular instance, we obviously didn't make it through the knockout stages, and uh, he was a bit upset. I think he was a bit upset in himself as well as some of the things on the car. So the two combined, and um, you know, for me, it's nothing. You know, you just shrug it off. And, and for Craig, similar, really wants, you know, you give him five or ten minutes to calm down, and, and he's okay. So I was a bit frustrated there, but you know they all, the team know that you know we're one big family. Hey, told you. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're we're pretty close, um, but at the end of the day, I think you you've also got to you know they've got to understand where the authority is and they've got to feel comfortable about the decisions you're making. So it's important, although you have the close relationship, that uh, that they understand that at the end of the day. You're the boss, so you tell them how it needs to be. Simon's doing a great job of keeping me kind of level, kind of headed, and uh, at times he is there for me if, if we have got a bit of a, like us, and Joe, he was there for me over Saturday evening, and uh, Joe, we came back strong on Sunday, so it's a big thank you to all the guys, all my mechanics as well, they're the same, do you know? That if I'm on a down, they'll pick me up and uh, put me back into winning ways. You know, it's the whole package, it's not just when they're in the car, it's about making sure they're prepared to get in the car, it's about making sure they're, they're taking on food and, and liquids during the event properly, you know, they're, they're mentally and physically prepared to go in the car. And then obviously on track, um, with Craig's temperament, you know, I, I like to G him up a little bit and um, that gets him all pumped up and, and then he pushes on and, you know, that's why he does the overtaking moves he does. And he's down the inside and he takes second place. But a big spin, that's the Velocity of right ahead of Galatasaray in avoidance. Gomedy has to go into the gravel. If there was a crash that wasn't your fault, I mean, we saw in Manicor some real incidents which meant that people's races were over. How then do you deal with it? Uh, come back and win the next race. Really, is it like that? Yeah, I think so. I mean, Joe, if it's not my fault, then uh, there's nothing I can do about it. So talk about your relationship between the White Hart Lane Club. Yeah, me and Tottenham, uh, to start with, obviously, they, they put the trust in me um, last year to drive for them. I kind of let them down finishing second in the championship, and, you know, they, they've backed me again for this year, and uh, they're right behind me. I've been there to the ground, met the players, met the fans, and uh, now this year's my year, hopefully, and we can uh, pull off the, the first position. I don't know why I'm smiling, but I am smiling because you do say the perfect answers and I talk to you off camera and you're an absolute joker. So um, how do you change that shift of personality so that you're 
you're you know you're yourself but when you get in your car you just switch it around yeah do you know I'm, I just have fun and uh, when I'm off the track I just enjoy myself and smile as much as I can and uh, once that helmet's on then I'm a different animal and uh, just go out and race and, and do, you know have fun and, and try and win every race and overtake as much as possible and put a show on Now this car is serving you well. You have a special relationship with it, so much so that you talk to it. You won't tell me what you say, will you? No, no, she's my baby, you know. Uh, she looks after me and uh, this thing, she's all right, bless her. And, um, Do you no. say personal things to it? Do you treat it like a person? She's, she's a living creature, She's you know? not, she's a car. She, she's beautiful. <laughs> she's, uh, no, she looks after me and I look after her. So uh, at the minute there's a very good relationship between us and uh, yeah, I'm enjoying it. Well, he promised he'd be aggressive. He promised he'd go out and really attack hard and have fun. And by attacking hard and being aggressive, he is having fun. Victory and 100,000 euro for Spurs. Well done. All the way, Dolby. You are the man. Wow, what a race. Uh, riding high on confidence at the moment, who is your main challenger? I think uh, Yelma's going to be strong, and um, Max is strong also, um, but Yelma's driving very well, and uh, do you know, I just have to kind of not really think about that and just do my job and go and enjoy it.